Everybody, Kobosk here, and I've got a different game. I'm actually started playing uh, for two days now. Um, it's actually my second day, and I'm at level 13. It's similar to Summoner's War, um, which I've been playing for the last year or so. Um, this one's called Seven Knights, and just like uh, Summoner's War, you have uh, one star monsters all the way up to, to six stars. Uh, Summoner's War has nat fives, and you can wake in. You know, evolve them up to six star. Um, this game actually has six star monsters. Uh, <clears throat> no matter what level you are, you level up to level thirty, and then from level thirty, you can evolve them into the next grade, and then uh, you keep going. All right, um, I'm actually going to be doing a hero summoning on here. Uh, I got a couple of cards. Um, from friends because I guess I've never gotten them before. Um, uh, it's a five star hero ticket and a three to six star hero ticket and I will be buying a um, a hero pack as well. And uh, we're gonna summon them together. Uh, I guess we'll start with uh, let's start with the cards with the uh, tickets here. We'll collect these. Ooh, five star. I don't know anything about her. Uh, I hope she's good. <laughs> nice. Five star. I was six star would have been nice, but well, I guess the six star would be here. Um, wish me luck. Here we go. Oh, not a six star. Looks cool though. I don't know if he's any good, but we'll look at him later, I guess. And then go into shop, and then we'll go to heroes, and then we'll buy this 250 pack. Ooh. Well, I guess we'll start with the uh, the brown ones here. These are the lower level ones. Pip. Come on, give me something good. These have a chance of getting up to a five star. Um, and then the uh, nice color ones have a chance of getting a six star. I'm guaranteed a four in here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Come on. No, come on. Oh, well, I guess my four star is in here somewhere. Archon. Okay, there's my four star. Let's see. Hopefully, I get a five or six. Ooh, another four star. Come on. Ooh, another four star. Nice. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. I was hoping for a five star, or even a six star. But uh, there we go. There's my summoning. I guess I could uh, do these 30, do it twice. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Ooh, four star mine owner raccoon. Probably not, probably fodder, I bet. Um, let's see, one more. Come on, give me something good. Ooh, wow. She looks cool. Looks badass. Dominic Experiment Shane. Nice. Uh, let's see. We can go to... Where can we go? Here. Codex. We've got a... No Seven Knights Monsters or Heroes. I get these are the best ones. And then you got the Lords. And then let's see. we got Regulars. Um... Is this the one I picked up? No. That's Jupy. Let's see. Crusaders. Crusaders. Let's see, what does she do? Attack an enemy with 20% physical attack. Passive. Increase critical rate at a certain rate. Uh, additionally, becomes immune to all magical damage for two turns. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see. What is next? Oh, I guess that's it for that. Asgar. What did we get in Asgar? A couple little guys. Some of these I got um, from um, playing the game. So, Beast Leo. No, it's not, he's not new. Uh, come on, where are you? Here's one. Nimble Dark Elf Ellen. What do you do? 
Attack an enemy with 180% uh, physical attack. Second skill, increase physical attack by 40%. And passive, immune to all attacks for one turn. That's nice. I think I actually have one that actually does that for like two or three turns. Um, the monk. A mm, couple of low level guys. Frozen land. Oh, these are zones, by the way. Um, within the, the scenarios within the game. That you can get in those zones. They drop um, randomly. <clears throat> oh, these two. Let's see. Shield Claw Caddy. Offensive monster. Attacks the enemy with 160% physical attack. Blind the target at a certain rate for two turns. Increase all allies' critical rate by 40%. That's nice. Passive. With a normal attack, bleed the target with 40% attack at a certain rate for two turns. What is certain rate? It would be nice if they just told you what the rate was. Let's see, who's this other one? Knight Ruler Daisy. I see attack an enemy with 170% attack, decreases the target's damage by 70% at a certain rate for two turns. Second attack, fire butterfly attacks all enemies with a 70% chance of 70% of magical attack, decreases target crit rate by 40%, and passive reduces damage for five turns. AoE attacks by 40% for all allies. Nice. That would be a good one to have, um, especially in arena. In here, you do get a lot of uh, arena teams that have a lot of AOE, um, really strong uh, monsters that come in and just kind of like hit everyone, and you're pretty much dead. So, let's see another offensive Azura Dagger Ray. Ray, Re, what do you got? Nimble Lethal Blow. Attack all enemies with 65% physical attack. Piercing guaranteed. Now this is a monster I definitely want. Does AOE attack on the first attack. Uh, attacks all enemies with 65% physical attack. Bleed one target or more with a 35% attack at a certain rate. Passive. Become untargetable to enemies for one turn. Additionally, reduce the damage for five target AOE attacks by 50%. Also immune to debuffs. Oh, wow. I definitely want to level this one up. This one... Probably the best one so far out of the four stars. Um, did I get any more? I think that's it. That is it. Alright guys, well, thank you for joining. And good luck heroes on getting your monsters. Oh, well, I guess I can uh, show you what the gameplay looks like. Uh, since I've tried looking online on YouTube and no one seems to have any actual gameplay on how this works. Um, so you, you know, you get five monsters. And then you get to do... Adventure this is one of the first things you get to do and you go out and you have Seven zones here. This is actually the first zone mystic woods uh, You have difficulty levels easy you start out in you got to finish the whole game in easy then you go to normal finish it again And then you go on to hard There is the mystic woods. There's a silent mine blazing desert dark grave Dragon runes frozen land and Ravenger's Hell, and I'm pretty sure that's it, yep. And these little icons, I'm guessing I get these monsters when I get there. So I'll get another four-star monster um, when I pass that boss level. And then nothing here. But when I get to here, it looks like there's another monster there. Little Musician Yui. Oh, she does AoE heal. I know because I've attacked somebody who had that person and would have pain in the butt. Couldn't kill them because of that. And a treasure chest over here. Six star weapon. Wow. Well, can't wait to get to that one if I can get to it. Um, but yeah. So let's see. Let's go back and see if we can uh, get to that boss level here. We're on this level here. Stage difficulty hard. And let's get to it. Um, I would bring in my new monsters and see if I couldn't level them up. But um, not at this level. It's a little too hard right now. Unfortunately, I, there's this two-time speed you can turn on and off, uh, which slows them down. 
and there's auto skill. I haven't quite figured this out because I turn it off and they still kind of go on their own. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, that's how you do it. Tell them what to do. Um, I'll have to play with that a little bit and learn more about that, but that's kind of interesting. I think I'll just do auto skill for now and let them go through their thing. Come on. So as you can see up on the um, top left here, you have the name of the zone. You have level one, uh, which is the first zone, and dash four. So we're in stage four of this. Or, um, well, actually, not stage four, but, uh, you know. And then at the very, very top, you see the little bar there. You see the counter counting down tells you, well, if these things will get out of the way. Those are the names of the attacks uh, on the top middle there, multi-slash, uh, the attacks that they're performing. So you have a little counter there, counts down, tells you how long you doing this zone. Um, you get graded on how fast you can do it. Um, you get one, two, and three stars. The faster you go, the more stars you get. Um, you also lose stars if somebody dies uh, by the time you get to the end. So you can see that there's a S there, I guess that's the start, and there's a 1, and the head there that we're on, we're on stage 2. And then at the end, there's a little boss monster there next to the number 3. Uh, the gold here is how much gold we've collected so far running through here, so we've got 225 gold. Um, you can pause the game. So pause, continue, look at settings. Um, we can leave the zone, uh, quit by going in Venture or Lobby. I don't really want to do that, so let's continue. We have a little chat bar here. We can change uh, channels. We have Guild Chat and a Normal Chat. Works just like everything else. Um, and of course you can see the little boxes down here on the bottom right corner. Um, when they use a skill, you can see the counter timing down of when they can use that skill again. Um, when you see the shade going over, it means that they are already at, they're attacking, so they can't do anything right now. Um, you can't do two attacks at the same time, basically. So that's it for combat and how that looks. And basically, they're just going around and they're just kind of killing whatever. Um, doesn't seem to have any rhyme or reason uh, as to who they attack or why. Um, they're in here, they're, they have what they call elements, but they're not earth, fire, water kind of elements. They are defense, uh, uh, defense attack, um, magic, and um, and uh, what's the other one? Not healer per se, but um, somebody who likes to buff and buffs your group. Um, support. There you go. Support. I think there's one more that I'm missing. <clears throat> it's like a dark looking element. Uh, I forget what it's called. Come on. Kill him. I like this monk. Um, when I first started, uh, I clicked on something. I don't remember what I clicked on. It gave me the chance to summon a six star monster of my choice. Um, it gave me like three or four different choices. Um, they had the character that you are, your main character, so you can, this guy here in the bottom right corner here, um, so it's the guy with the sword doing the backflip right there, he's the guy you start out as, so I didn't do it fast enough, so I only got two stars, but, you know, whatever. So you get a random reward at the end, um, gold, uh, could be an item or a, another hero. <clears throat> uh, let's see here, so we can go repeat. Or we can ne go next to the next adventure, or we can look at um, look at adventure, and it goes back basically into the map again. Let you look at the map, and you can um, choose a different location if you want to. Go to the library, or quick start. Not quite sure what that is yet. Haven't tried clicking on it. On the bottom left corner here, you got a heroes icon. You can click on that. Oop, we got some dialogue going on here. Uh, some storyline. Uh, I haven't really been paying much attention to it. Uh, basically, <clears throat> you're the good guys, you're trying to kill the bad guys, stop the bad guys from doing bad things. 
Um, I'm pretty sure you can pause that if you guys want and read it. Uh, so we can click on hero and we can go into this little hero uh, section here. We can swap out heroes. Um, look at the top left corner here, you see heroes. Um, and then we have an A and a B. So we can actually click on that and we can actually change um, your formation. So there's three in the front, two in the back. And we'll go to B and we have two in the front, three in the back. And you unlock these as you level up. Um, and we can actually change our formations. So we have uh, four different formations that you can choose from. Um, each one has its benefits. And you can actually level up those formations as well. Uh, let's see. Um, optimize. Basically, it puts the monsters in there that it thinks are the best. I don't know if that's necessarily true, if that's actually accurate or not, but that's what that does. And let's see, so we've got our monsters here. Uh, it puts the it puts them in order by what level they are, and then what rank they are, how many stars. Right now, you see these guys up on top, only because they have a little red sword in the top right corner of their little picture there. It lets you know that they're a new, uh, not a sword, it's a exclamation mark, to let you know that that is a new monster. Um, so we have you know quite a few new monsters in there we can scroll down and get down below these guys and then now you can see this is where it would normally start so you'd see level 30 and they're rank 4 4 star um, well, I'm not quite sure why he's in front of this why this uh, level 29 guy is in front of this dragon here but alright oh that's because they're joined okay because I used them um, in my uh, formation over here at some point uh, leveling them up but then again I did do the dragon as well and quite a few of these guys so I don't know why they're not there but whatever um, so you can do quite a bit in here um, while you're in between scenarios I'll actually look at uh, let's go I guess we can look at Guppy over here real quick I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use him for food um, so you can do a couple of things here. You can do lucky level up, which I don't know. It's probably not worth it. I'm not going to do it. It costs these rubies, which you don't get too often. Um, you kind of get them. You actually get five rubies every time you level a monster up to level 30. So even if they're a one star monster, once you get to level 30, you get five rubies for it. Um, and then if you, uh, increase his grade to two star level him up to 30 again you actually get like two or three rubies I think um, but you get rubies every time you get somebody up to level 30 which is kinda nice um, you can do this power up where you can actually feed uh, monsters to them and you get this little uh, progress bar down here this little current and after uh, progress bar you can see leveling up here and it's costing me more and more money each time I click on a monster <clears throat> uh, you get a certain percentage uh, for them, so like if uh, one star monk, because this is four star, if I feed another four star to him, which I'm not going to do here, but I just want to show you, uh, we get we should get, yeah we get a hundred percent increase. So you can see here it's at uh, currently it's at plus one at twenty two percent, and now it's going to go to plus two at twenty two percent. So we get a hundred percent. Oh yeah, um, and the if you actually look at the picture of the icon. Up here in the top left corner, you can see a little green 100% up there that tells you how much you're going to get for it. Um, a three star. Um, the next star down, uh, you get 50%. And then you get uh, 25, I think, for a two star. 25%, yep. And then a one star, you get 12%. So it cuts it in half each star you go down. So if you have a six star monster, or you would need another six star monster to do a 100% and a 5 star would be um, 50 and, and so on and so forth um, so that's leveling up and what this does this actually just gives you more uh, a little bit more base stats on top of what they already have so if he was maxed out on level 30 he'd be 30 plus the 1 and he'll get a little bit more HP and attack and defense and, and whatnot and then there's a couple other things you can do too. Um, 
when I don't think I have any here on showing off right now because I kind of used them already to make some four star monsters but you can make do I have any that are maxed out? No, I do not. Okay, when you take the, let's say this four star monster here, we'll look at him again. Um, he's got that plus one. If we go to power up um, and we power him all the way up to plus five, which is the max, um, I would have the ability to fuse him. Uh, doesn't show it, yeah, fuse right here. Uh, can't do it because uh, he doesn't have that plus five power up rank. So they have to be max level of uh, 30 on whatever star that they are and have to have a plus 5. And you can fuse him to another monster. It has to be the same star ranking and has to be max level and has to have the plus 5. If you get two of them, you can fuse them together and you will get a random next uh, monster uh, next level, next star up. So if you have two four stars, if I fused them to together, I would get a five star monster at random, whatever it may be. Um, so that's how it works. So you can fuse one star monsters together, like this guy, and you'd get a two star. Uh, you can fuse two, fuse two two stars together to get a three star, and so on and so forth. It takes a lot of time, actually. Um, but it's it's nice that you don't need with like Summoner's War if you want to make a four star monster you have to take a three star and then you need three more of those three star monsters to make it a four star but here you just need two uh, two monsters of the same level fully maxed out um, so let's see my storage here um, if you go back up here to the top right or top middle here you see heroes Next to that you see 42 slash 99. That's how many monsters I can hold and how many I'm currently holding. Um, these little keys here, that's basically your energy. You get one key every 10 minutes. Um, right now I think it's capped by level, so as I level up I'll probably get to hold more keys. I think, I'm not entirely sure. Right now I can max out at 8 keys before it stops. Um, here you have gold, which you use for fusing. And you get your rubies here, um, just to the right of that. Also, something you can do on here is when you look at your monsters, you actually get items as well. So I can go to click on item here. And if you look at the top left corner here, you'll see a little uh, glowing square here. Uh, that's a sword that he's using. And then we have below that, uh, we have some armor. So we look, click on the sword, and if you look just below his uh, profile picture there, um, you see selected item, and it says what it is. It's a skull long sword plus one. Um, it's plus one because I leveled it up. Um, if you look at the very bottom here, uh, just below that, be, below the sword's stats there, um, you can say unequip, which will cost you some other type of gem, which I don't know how to get those yet. Um, probably not worth it for these low-level items and because you get them often enough as it is uh, you can power up and just like the monsters I can add other weapons to it Oop. Yeah. you've reached the max number of power ups oh oh because of the because uh, this is a four star item um, trying to use it to power up a three star, it went, already went up to max five just with these two items. Um, so that's how you level those up, and you can get more stats on those. Uh, and of course, you get the little bar on the bottom, it tells you just like the monsters do. And I don't know, I don't think you can fuse or anything um, for those to make better items, but there they are. Uh, jewels, uh, I haven't gotten that yet, probably gets unlocked later on. I still haven't figured out what these little uh, lock boxes here um, to the right of his profile, not sure what those are. And then there was something else as well I was looking at just a second ago. Oh, um, these are the lock um, here, back in the, when you're looking at the person here, tells you what his stats are, of course. Um, plus 48 because of his items, plus 59 for his defense because of his items, 
And then just below that, you got the two little icons there with his items that he uses and three other locked boxes. I'm guessing again, something that I get at a later level. Through Transcend. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what Transcend is yet. It's probably something once you get to max uh, six star, then maybe you can Transcend, I'm guessing. Uh, additional slot can be unlocked with a six star hero. And this one, additional slot unlocked with a six star hero through unlock. Well, I actually have a six star hero. I never even noticed it before. Yeah, so why is it unlocked? Use unlock to unlock an additional slot. Oh, I've never seen this before. This is new. Okay, please select heroes to use as material. Use heroes to power up. Select a select and unlock another item slot. Success rate 100% and it's going to cost me 150,000 gold. Um, however, apparently I don't have any material to do that. Um, question mark. Base hero. Wow, that sucks. I would need another six star monster to unlock that. Well, I'm guessing that's towards like towards the end game when I'm getting like super, super uh, Super monsters. Let's see. Transcend. Also need a, another six star, but it has to be, I guess, the same same hero. Transcend will allow you to increase the character's maximum level by two, all the way up to level forty. Wow. Transcendence is only allowed for max out characters. That's interesting. That'll take a long time. Um. Elements, so here's, oh, Earth Elemental, Light Elemental, Water, Dark Elemental, and Fire Elemental. But they're also, Defensive is Earth Elemental, Support is Light, Magic is Water, Universal is Dark, Offensive is Fire. Okay. So there are, but they just aren't, which is kind of weird. Anyway, so the, yeah, there's a little index, codex thing here that you can look at. Um kind of going on here a little bit too long where am I at oh close to a half an hour I gotta wrap this up um, let's go back out so now that we've done what we wanted to do with our heroes um, before we go to the next level now we'll click on the hero icon uh, the little red arrow in the top left corner and now we can uh, click on our little dancing hero here on the map over the boss round and see if we can get another four star monster here so let's hit start on the bottom right corner here. We see one key um, to start, and I have six. So go ahead and hit start. It's actually a pretty fun game. Um, I'm not playing it too much. I just wanted to play it, see how it was. Um, so I've been playing it when I can for the last two days. Just like most games, you level up really quickly in the beginning, uh, and then of course it's already starting to slow down, and I'm only at level 13, level 14. And there's a lot of things you can do in here. There is Guild Wars, there is um, Castle something, um, Crash, Castle Crash, Castle Rush. Uh, you basically, it's like a little mini dungeon uh, that you can go into uh, and kind of fight your way through it, which gives you points in your guild um, and helps your guild level up. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. There's also a, a tower that you can climb. It's got 110 levels. Um, of course, it progresses and gets harder and harder as you level up. You actually, um, for that, you actually get your own, you get five uh, invitations to that that once it max out to five and it stops uh, then as you use them of course then it's, the counter starts up again um, there is arena battle in here which is not that great uh, I prefer the um, summoner's war way of doing the arena battle where you actually choose look at uh, the monsters that you're going to attack and decide whether or not you want to attack them or not uh, in this game here, it's pretty much it's all random and it's completely auto. Um, you just hit start and it picks a monster or picks a group 
for you automatically and you start attacking and that is that I mean I guess it's fair since they don't have any way of defending themselves or anything like that you're pretty much everyone's doing auto uh, but I still kind of wish I had some control over it at least who I want to attack and say like okay I'm not gonna attack them because I know I'm not gonna win where are we at stage two come on kick that giant mushrooms butt marshmallow with a crown must be stay puff marshmallow son there he goes he's gone out of here boss round and we're fighting another giant marshmallow Well, another interesting thing about the storyline on here, if you like storyline, uh, when you, as you play through uh, easy, you have the story. Uh, when you finish and you start over again and do it through uh, normal, you're not repeating the story. The story is actually continuing. You're just going back through the same zones again, uh, but you get more, uh, more storyline of what's going on and get it again through hard. So you're not seeing the same thing. But I'm not too much on story. It's always the same thing. Go kill the bad guy. Go rescue the princess. Um, save the world. Um, kill, kill, kill. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. So you see these little icons above their heads. Uh, these are the uh, passive skills or uh, buffs or debuffs that are being activated onto the monsters. Well, there's so many different icons it's hard to tell what is what and what's going on but they do match the skills on some of them over here on the bottom right corner I'm pretty sure I can look at that or not well she's gonna do that next my little Rosarita uh, Latin Hispanic dancer over there <laughs> Boy, she's just getting jiggy with it over there. She's like, uh, can you stop dancing around? We're trying to fight. Oh, I got a card. So hopefully we got a monster here. And on hard, I guess you have a chance of getting a, a five-star monster. I don't know about getting a six. Oh, yep. That is a possible six. No, it is a five-star. That's the... This is the monster I'm supposed to get. Uh, from doing this level so this was like an automatic thing this isn't a random uh, you you do get this person so if we actually just click on adventure it'll go out into the story mode and uh, we'll start talking and you can it says you can it says tap this little hand down here in the bottom right corner you do not have to tap on the bottom right corner you can tap anywhere you want or on the top right corner you see skip you can just skip the whole darn thing um, but so for some of you guys who maybe why isn't this going uh, for some of you who may be wanting to read that I will just go ahead and leave it there for a second or two so you can go back and hit uh, pause and read it if you want although you're towards the end of the story so you probably don't know what's going on and I haven't been reading the story either so I don't know what's going on and these things are long I don't know if you can hear True in the background. She's like in the other room listening to me talk. <laughs> Saying the, the dialogue. She's correcting my grammar or my vocabulary anyway. But yes, True. The dialogue. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. What? Please. Ivana, and you get these little things this goddess Elena here um, she gives you these little quests um, that you get and she'll give you a new one and you get little things like money uh, keys uh, rubies so here um, you get a little quest that says hero power up so if I power up a, a hero I will get 2,000 gold for it um, sure why not um, let's Let's see, one of these monsters, I work, which one was I working on? I have a little plus sign on. 
See, there's Havana up on the top left corner since I just got her. She's got that little uh, exclamation icon up on the top so that you can see her that you that's the new monster you got. Um, oh yes, Guppy. Grumpy is a little kid riding on the back of a uh, abominable snowman. You can see him smack in the back of his head there. He actually does that. If if this guy dies um, or gets taken out in um, in a, in battle, he actually starts smacking the back of his head. So mean. Reminds me of Mario and and uh, Yoshi. Uh, let's level, let's power him up. We will use a small little monster, and we'll cost us 2500 but I'll get 2000 back so it's going to cost me 2500 but whatever no big deal because sometimes you get um, some pretty good stuff in there um, when I collect it so if I back out it'll say completed the mission so I can collect collect my 2000 reward power up an item and I get a four star hero Woo! let's do that let's see what I get power up an item uh, let's see here. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, I'll just back out. Uh, let's see, go to Heroes on the bottom left corners. All these icons is so crowded in here, I just don't like it. Okay, so Hero, um, who should we level up? Let's, let's look up Dancer Lucy here, a healer. I am already leveling up one of her items. Let's click on the item box over here, and let's power up. Let's use a small item, uh, just so we don't have to spend too much money to get it. Power up. Hammer away. There we go. And there's chances of getting um, increased, I think. I don't know about the items, but um, for uh, leveling up monsters, there is a slight chance that you can get a boost on, on your percentage. Okay, so let's see, what do we get? Come on, let's back out, hit all the X's, hit all the red arrows, complete, give me my four-star monster, Sylvia. Who is Sylvia? Battle formation upgrade. So if I level up a battle formation, I'll get 2,000 gold. Um, actually, I think we can actually do that. We can power up, um, well, it's pretty cheap, but it's still pretty cheap, it's only 400, so... Uh, let's level up this first one here. We'll just upgrade that. And we just made 1,600 gold. Mix up for that 2,000. Collect. Battle formation. Ooh, 10 rubies. Let's do that. Let's go level up the other one. 400 gold for 10 rubies. I'll take it. Let's back out. And what do we get? What's our next quest? Oh, I get a key. Uh, for doing adventure mode. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that because um, that will get that in no time. Uh, let's look at my little mailbox here. Um, I do have some keys in storage but I'll use those up later. I get to collect 10 keys. Um, really good for leveling up monsters. I'm not quite sure how the monster level up works. I don't think they share XP. I think everyone gets the same amount of XP. So if it says 600 XP, I think everyone gets 600 XP. Uh, it doesn't matter how many monsters you have on the board. Or anything like that. So that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you have any advice for me on playing this game on uh, you guys want to share with other people because I don't see enough or any YouTube videos on this game. Uh, it seems pretty new but um, Thank you guys for watching. Uh, good luck on summoning your heroes, and hopefully you get that Nat 6 monster, or hero.